Singapore coach, Tatsuma Yoshida, began to dare to underestimate the team made by Shin Taeyong. He's just shy with Vietnam and Thailand. In this 2020 AFF Cup, it seems like Indonesia is not considered a tough opponent for Singapore. The toughest competitors are considered only to come from Thailand and Vietnam. Playing as the host, Tatsuma Yoshida is eyeing the target of winning in the 2020 AFF Cup. He revealed that his team had qualified ammunition to compete for the trophy. The Japanese coach read the previous statistics. There are only three countries that are said to have the opportunity to become AFF 2020 champions. Singapore, Vietnam and Thailand are said to be on the radar. Singapore was at the peak of football glory mid-2004-2008, just as they won the AFF Cup title twice in a row. At that time, Singapore was strengthened by many naturalized players, a total of Singapore successfully recorded 13 matches without defeat. It was only in the 2008 AFF Cup, Nguyen Quang Hai's single goal broke Singapore's classy record after losing by a narrow score of 0-1 to to Vietnam. Meanwhile, Vietnam has become a Southeast Asian giant since the second semi-final of the 2016 AFF Cup against Indonesia. Two years later, Park Hang Seo's squad won the 2018 AFF Cup with a record eight matches unbeaten. At the 2020 AFF Cup, Vietnam collected three wins and a draw, making them a total of 13 matches unbeaten in a row. With a record of four draws and nine wins, in contrast to Thailand which is considered the king of the AFF Cup. The team nicknamed the War Elephant has only recorded 11 matches unbeaten since the 2016 AFF Cup title until now. In 2018, Thailand was eliminated in the semi-finals after losing on aggregate to Malaysia, without a goal in the first leg and drawing 2-2 in the second leg at home. Vietnam can still extend their unbeaten run in the 2020 AFF Cup after making sure to qualify for the semi-finals. From the statistics on the official website of the AFF Suzuki Cup, Indonesia's appearance is quite bright. Indonesia listed itself as the most productive team. From the four matches he has played, Evan Dimas CS has scored 13 goals and conceded four goals. Indonesia has also won a lot of head-to-head -head track record with Singapore. Throughout history, the two sides have met 60 times. Indonesia has won 31 matches, while the Lions were only able to carve 18 wins. The rest, 11 matches, ended in a draw.